Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Bonnie and I thought that I would come on and share with you a bunch of different coloring books that I picked up recently from a few different stores. So whenever I go into Home Sense and Winners, I like to check out the stationery section because you just never know what you're going to find. And they have been getting a lot of great coloring books in. So I found Enchanted Forest Artist Edition, uh, 20 drawings to color in frame. This was $4.99 and it's great. The paper is, uh, you know, it's like almost like a Bristol paper, I wanna say. And this would be fantastic to use, uh, you know, obviously your coloring pencils, but you know, you could use markers in here. Uh, you could even try, uh, it's a little flat, but I mean, you could try watercolor, definitely acrylics. So this is gonna be fun to work in. I'm glad I found this one. Uh, I did f see this one um, probably about a year ago and I didn't pick it up and I regretted not doing so. So yeah, I thought, you know what, for $4.99, you really can't go wrong. And uh, so yeah, can't wait to start working in that one. All right, next I was really happy to find Enchanted Forest. I had a copy of this book, you know, from when it first came out. And during our last move, I lost a box of books and I lost all of my coloring books, unfortunately. So I was happy to find this book at a discounted price and I can't wait to start coloring in this again. Um, my coloring skills have improved through the years, so this will be great to sort of start fresh. And this one was $7.99. All right, next I found Where the Wildflowers Grow by Adriana Picker, a botanical wonderland of coloring for adults. And I got this book for $4.99. And it's a beautiful book. The pages are uh, a little thin, but you know, it, it's still workable. You just need to use color pencil, but the illustrations are beautiful. Lots of flowers and birds. Um, just gorgeous. I love that. Look at that bee page and more bees. There's a, a budgie page or spread that's really neat as well. I'm not sure if I can find it. Oh, here it is. Look at that. So yeah, beautiful book for a good price. All right, another book that I found is Fantastic Structures by Steve McDonald. I got this one for $4.99. I actually found this one today. Oops, sorry. And I was really happy to find that. I do have another one of his books, Fantastic Cities. And I found this one at Dollarama a few years ago now. So check your discount stores. You just never know what you're going to find. All right, another book that I found at HomeSense is Millie Marata's Woodland Wild. I got this one for $4.99. Um, a great book. I have a few of her books uh, in my collection already and uh, yeah, this one looks promising. So I was happy, oops, sorry, happy to find that one. All right, another book that I found is Birds of Paradise by Lorna Scobie. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce the last name or not. And I got this one for $3. Pretty nice paper actually. Um, I like the peacock images, really, really nice. I'm not sure if I can find it again, but anyway, yeah. Okay, the next few books my husband actually found for me at a home sense near his work. So he found me some curvy books. He picked up uh, Color Morphia, and this one was priced at five. He told me it was missing a sticker. So yeah, I can't wait to start working in this book. And he also found me Anamorphia for $4.99. Uh, so he also found me this Vogue coloring book by Ian R. Webb. And it just says, um, discover the glamour, elegance, and sheer fun of British Vogue in the 1950s.
paper feels really nice in this book. And there's lots of uh, nice images. This is a little bit different for me. I don't really have many books where I'm coloring in women or people, you know, I, so that will be a good book to practice in. And the last book he picked up for me is a bird's coloring book. This is by Rachel Curtis. And um, so this is really neat. So you have, uh, you know, information on the bird on the left-hand side here. It tells you the wingspan, uh, the color pattern, the calls, the diet of the bird, some fun facts, and you also have, um, you know, the, the species name here. Uh, so, you know, that's pretty neat. And then you can just, you know, Google uh, the bird and then figure out, you know, how to color it in. So this should be neat to work in. Oh, I love the hummingbird. If there's any book here that you want me to do a, um, a flip through, just let me know and I will be happy to make a video uh, showcasing one of them. No problem at all. Okay, the next few books I picked up at the book outlet, I thought these would be great for Valentine. So I picked up Joyous Blooms to Color by Ellery Fowler. So there's some beautiful illustrations in here. Springy, you know, um, cute little proverbs throughout and sayings so just really nice and like lots of uh, valentine images in here i love this bee so really really nice so i got that one and then also from the same author i got words of love to color sweet thoughts to live in color by really nice so oh it's pretty swans and the last book i picked up is the most wonderful time of the year christmas coloring this was really inexpensive and i thought i'd put this away for next christmas i don't have a lot of christmas books so i thought that i would uh, pick this one up so the paper isn't bad at all and uh, like the images are mostly wallpaper images, but you know, sometimes I like to color in wallpaper images, so. Okay, that is it. I was going to show you some of the art supplies that I picked up, but I think I will uh, make a separate video for that because I believe this video is getting a little bit too long. Although I could be wrong, it could be like four minutes, but it seems like I'm taking forever to film. <laughs> so thank you everyone. If you made it this far, I appreciate you watching my video and I hope you enjoyed. And like I said, if you want to see any of these books, um, just let me know down below in the comments and I will make a separate flip through video for you. So thanks everyone and hopefully I will see you on my next video. Bye for now. Take care.